NGN practice, bow tie items. All right, future nurses, with a bow tie, you're always gonna start out with some info over on the left-hand side of the screen and then get into the bow tie over on the right. So here, we've got a client coming into the ED, left-sided facial droop, can't really move left side arm and leg, expressive aphasia, so having a hard time talking. Husband said this started out of nowhere, boom, 45 minutes ago at dinner. Um, she's got a good, pretty good past medical history here. AFib, hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia. We look at her vitals, she's got a little bit of a low grade temp, nothing to write home about. Pulse and respers are pretty normal, but I'm impressed by that blood pressure. Notable hypertension going on. So now getting over to the bow tie, here's what you're gonna see. One potential condition in the middle, two actions to take on the left, two parameters to monitor on the right. You guys, this is just a really fancy drag and drop. You're dragging and dropping five different items into their respective location. I recommend you start off in the middle with what you think is going on. It's got to come from that middle column potential condition. So what do you think it is? Based on what we talked about, is it Bell's palsy, a complex partial seizure, a complex migraine, severe hypoglycemia, or a cerebral vascular accident? I know you guys got this. It's a CVA or a stroke. So my next recommendation is move on to the actions to take. What are your priorities when your client is having a suspected stroke? Well, you need to figure out if it is a stroke and what type of stroke it is so you can treat it properly, right? So read through those actions to take and then drag and drop them into those appropriate bubbles. Let's look through them. Should we get them to CT? Yes, we've got to figure out if this is ischemic or hemorrhagic so we know what to do. Should we get a manual blood pressure? Well, we already got a BP. We know she's hypertensive. That's really not going to help us with this situation. Should we prepare her for an LP? That's not going to help us either. Should we get lab work? Yes. I especially want to check a glucose because we know hypoglycemia can imitate a stroke and that could really help us out. Lastly, should I transport her to an MRI? Well, no, I'm already getting a CT. Your last selection with a bow tie is what parameters you want to monitor to see if this condition is improving. So read through and see based on a stroke and getting a CT and labs, what's going to tell you if this is getting better? You got it, it's that Glasgow coma scale and your vital signs. Easy, quick, and it'll let you know if this stroke is improving or getting worse. With all of your bow ties, you're getting a point for correct answers, no points for incorrect answers, and no deductions. The maximum you'll be able to get is five points.